This is a short video of the function of our SR900-100-2B gauge. This gauge measures 100 degree countersinks and contacts the major of the countersink diameter using a conical style plunger. <clears throat> its measuring range is from 360 thousandths to 560 thousandths with an accuracy of plus or minus one ten thousandth of an inch. Our gauge comes equipped with a setting block at the nominal value to calibrate this gauge. In this case, it is a DO100-460. The countersink diameter of our set blocks have a tolerance of plus three ten thousandths of an inch, minus one ten thousandth of an inch from nominal, and the angle is plus zero decimal degrees, minus point two decimal degrees. These measurements are achieved by a ball over method which calculates the diameter of our blocks to the ten millionths of an inch. With that being said, I have set up three blocks to cover the full range of the gauge. A DO100-360, a DO100-460, and a DO100-560. The first step is to calibrate the gauge to the given calibration set block. I know that this DO100-460 is in fact 460 and 2 tenths of an inch. I will hit the preset button to preset the gauge to the block. Then I will repeat my measurement to make sure that my gauge is repeating what I just preset the gauge to. Now I'm going to go check my lower limit and my upper limit and I know from doing my ball over measurements that this block is measuring 360 and 1 tenth and my DO100-560 is measuring 560. I can go ahead and double check all these measurements to ensure that I'm getting the same readings over and over again. I can do this over and over again. The good thing about this gauge too is that it's extremely reproducible, meaning that anybody in the field is going to reproduce these same measurements that I'm showing you right now. All right, this concludes our countersink diameter demo. Please visit our website at www.trulock.com. That's www.trulock.com to see the various measuring devices we carry, including countersink depth gauges, hole perpendicularity, hole diameter, fastener flushness, and fastener head protrusion.